Welcome to another week. Good lord, the sun though. Well, uh, next week we, so our cohort of the first year PhD students will give our presentation in the Tuesday seminar in front of the whole uh, department for our second lab rotation, which we are still currently in actually. And tomorrow I will give a lab talk and I have planned to present some data, but as you have seen in my last vlog, if you have seen it, I don't really have data yet, so I have filmed the ants but I didn't get any data points because I still don't have a tracking program that can do this automatically and I decided to go the risky route and just figure it out until the lab talk how to use MATLAB for that yeah but it took a long time and I'm still not done so today I will hustle to get some trajectories out of the video data of the ants moving In case you don't know, uh, I'm trying to figure out whether ants surge differently when they are on a smooth surface versus when there is some structure on the surface like a slab like this compared to when there are edges. So you know that ants often follow edges when you watch them doing their stuff inside and outside of the house. Yeah, I'm interested in like quantifying that, how much they follow edges and how much it uh, may contribute to them finding food or not. It just turns the caterpillar. So, so the caterpillar's on their back. Wow, this one's really, really boring right now. But the caterpillar will flail about every once in a while mm -hmm. to right themselves. I made another step forward. So this will probably not tell you much, but um, this is a list of X and Y coordinates, and I don't know what that is, of the ants that I have detected in this program. And this is the frame or the timestamp of when they were detected at this place. It's now 6.30, so it took me two and a half hours or three hours to get there uh, from getting like getting this table for one frame to getting it for multiple frames. Um, yeah, what's still wrong is that the frames are in the table next to each other instead of down, like under each other, um, so that I can analyze them. So either I, I will manually shift them around in Excel, which would take maybe an hour or so for, my, um, for all of my data, or I will find a solution within MATLAB, which is of course also preferred and more elegant. And then I can feed this list that I get out of MATLAB directly into R, which is another program in which you have to write code in order to, you know, do something. Yeah, in R I can then statistically analyze the data and also make pretty graphs and also, yeah, visualize the tracks, so where the ants walked. And that's then basically everything I need to do with these data, like with the statistical analyses and the uh, plots and stuff, I could basically write that up. So hopefully by figuring out now for once um, how to do this, I can use this for all of my other projects that I will do in my PhD. This is at least my wish. Holy shit. Let's hope for the best. Damn it. Oh, so there's a typo. Yeah, most of the time it's like 10% of code writing and 90% of debugging and maybe more than a half of the errors that you encounter are due to syntax. So because you have written something differently or you have written like a semicolon instead of a comma or something like that. Now though... Uh, yeah! <laughs> So this makes me happy. Ooh, zoom. It seems like I've cracked the code. Maybe just in time. Um, yes. <laughs>
So if nothing else, I can at least extract this table with all the x, y coordinates and feed them into Excel and just plot them in a very simple scatter plot. And then it shows me the trajectories uh, like I did for my last presentation. However, um, these data are only from a sort of test sample video. So I will have to do it again with the real videos and they will be a little bit bigger because of 4K versus 1080p. And they will also be much, much longer. So it will take a few hours even to um, run this code with the videos. So I don't know whether I will still make it until tomorrow to the lab meeting. It's time to go home, I'm pretty tired. And as you can see, I still haven't gotten any statistical data and also no graphs. And my Excel is just crashing because apparently there are too many data in that file so it can't compute. So yeah, I didn't give the, the talk in the lab meeting because I didn't have data and no um, talk prepared, which is a shame, but not too bad. Uh, however, I do need some kind of talk for Friday. Until then, I want to have analyzed some data so that I can show figures and maybe even compare the two treatments. So, um, ant searching in a plane arena and versus ant searching in an arena with toothpicks. <laughs> Thursday, 4.45 and I'm about to get my first meal of the day because I just cooked. And then it is about time that I will get some data. <laughs> so tomorrow will be the next deadline then uh, for the first practice talks. Hurrah! The first plot that I got. Now I'll just have to use this one package to link all the dots together and make trajectories in order to calculate something about them. And also make this graph prettier. I'm lost. It becomes more and more cloudy outside, which you can't see. Inside though, I have been working hard the last one or two days to go further in the process from videos to statistics that describe the paths and tell us something about it. And this is where I have arrived. So I think this is really, really cool. Uh, every color should stand for a different end and you can clearly see like where they went. So this is more than 30 trajectories here. Uh, on the other hand though, this is the same graph basically only with lines and here you can see that sometimes different trajectories of different ants are being connected together. So that's still something that I have to improve or I don't know, I have to get back into the data and manually do this, I don't know. So here, this circle, this is where the nest was. I am pretty happy with that. And in the last few days that I have been basically only doing this, um, troubleshooting and getting closer to statistically analyzing the data, I had so much fun. This is basically like, for, at least for me, what is the most fun in science. You know, to go from the question over the data taking to finally distilling out of those noisy data, basically what is the truth and what we actually want to find out. I think that's pretty beautiful. Yeah, this is why I became a scientist. And just like that, it's Sunday night already. Uh, I feel like I'm living in a time lapse. 
Anyway, uh, I made a good progress this weekend in uh, finding out how to analyze the data and it's been a lot of fun and I hope that I can uh, have present something respectable on Tuesday and that I will get a good presentation together. So have a good night and see you next week. Yeah.